Hello, Larry here. Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. I'm Larry the Pen Bug Guy. Yes, I'm totally covered with pens, but in a good way. Today I'm going to talk about this little creature, the Pilot Plumix. Cool little pen. Pilot uh, has come out with this pen, and uh, it's a plastic blue. And the body is made of resin. Okay, so it's a twist off cap and has the little fins coming off on the uh, cap there. Twist off cap, and we'll take that off real quick. And here you see a medium stub italic nib 1.0 millimeter. And what makes this a italic stub is it doesn't have the little tip on the end. It's squared off. I don't know if you can see it or not. Kind of, but that's the best I can get it. So, and it's uh, about, what, nine bucks nowadays? So, uh, it's a nice looking uh, pen. One of my favorite colors is blue. And uh, if you can see the design it has in the barrel, it's kind of cool. Uh, and then the grip is right here where I'm holding it. Uh, you got plenty enough room for even large fingers. My fingers are small. And you can hold it right back up to here if need be. Can you see that pretty good? Let's get it down towards here. Okay. Now, can you see that better now? All right. I'm talking to somebody controlling the camera. So, here's the grip again. So, does the pin post? Yes, it does. Little bitty cap. Yes, it does. And it posts quite securely. So, to twist off barrel and inside you find a converter cartridge converter which is a pilot now I'm going to remove this and show you what else you could put in there this is the pilot metropolitan and it has a con converter in it so I'm going to stick that right in and that works just fine And no problems whatsoever. It does not come with a Con40 converter. You have to order that separately. So, I'll take that back out and I'll put this back in here because I am not going to use that today. I am going to use the Pilot Namiki cartridge. I got these last year. I've used one, so because I don't really use cartridges per se. I'm going to use this one to show you guys. There's the cartridge on this end with the open part. Not the narrow part, but the widest part. Just put it in. Pop it in. Pop. Goes right in. Not a problem. And it had that little ball to help break it up. So that's kind of okay too. So there it is. And I'll cap this up for a second. And that's what this little critter looks like. It's an interesting fountain pen. Some call it, or gave it the name, the squid. Um... It's a cartridge or 
converter. It's all plastic, so it can be an eyedropper. I've seen some people use it as eyedropper. I don't use it as an eyedropper. I've never have gotten into eyedropper pens. Uh, the only one I have used as an eyedropper is my Preppy. That was the only one. The length of the body of the pen is 144 millimeters or 5.7 inches. The length of the cap, small cap, is 31 millimeters or 1.2 inches. The length overall is 150 millimeters or 5.9 inches. Posted, it comes at a 152 millimeters or 6 inches. The weight of the body is 9 grams or 0 0.3 ounces. The cap is 1 gram or 0 0.04 inches. Overall weight, combining your cap and your barrel, you get a whopping 10 grams or 0 0.4 ounces. So that's the pen in a whole nutshell. And it comes in a few other colors. This is the Pilot. Plumix. So what do you say? Let's give it a test run in a minute. But before we get to doing that, I don't need to jump the gun. Let's do a size comparison first. Here's the Pilot Metropolitan. And as you can see, it's a bit longer. And we'll put this against the Jin Hao. It still wins out on length. So we'll move this aside. And we'll put it against the Lamy All Star. Still, the pl Plumix wins out on the length. And here's the Preppy. And then here is the fountain pen of revolution. Click. And on girth wise, the Plumix is a little bit more girthier than the Click. But the Preppy is more girthier. Of course, the Lamy and the Pilot as well. The, uh, Jin Hao is more slimmer as the pilot is has more girth to it. And here's the noodle noodlers Conrad. Again the pilot wins out on length, but on the girth the noodlers does that. So that's gonna cover that. It's a long slender pen, but it's got a cool look to it. It's a fun pen. And let me get some paper out. I'll put out my old trusty Rhodia. And we'll give this pen a whirl. What do you say? What I'm going to do is tear this sheet out, and we're going to get with it. So here we go. I'll go ahead and post it. And set everything aside. Okay, here we go. Get that ink started first. Gotta get it going, sorry. I haven't used this pen in what? Long time. Pilot. And still there's a little bit of water that's left in it, looks like. But that will surely go away here soon.
and it has started to evaporate. And you know, for an italic nib, it's it's uh, smooth. I'd give it that. On the upstroke, and then on the downstroke, cross stroke, thinner, downstroke, you get a wider line variation. And we'll do a few S's, and we'll do some witness. Not going to be very wet, I can tell you that now. So, again, fast riding. And it did just fine. Now, when I went to do the Y, sometimes that corner one grabs, but it's fine. Uh, I just need to remember this is an italic, but really it's it's smooth. Overall, it's smooth. I have some italics that aren't smooth, but they write fine. But this is a, a nice little nib. So, if you're interested in the Pilot Pumix, there you have it. Uh, this thing is not for everybody. Uh, if you're into uh, italic nibs, then it's for you. If you're just starting out and you want to learn and get to know and the feel of an ital italic nib, then this is right up your alley. Nine bucks, not a bad investment, not a whole lot of bread involved. And you could really have a great time with this pen. Uh, I personally don't use the uh, convert, I mean, the uh, cartridges hardly at all. Um, I use the inks more, I don't know. A deeper, richer for me ink. Uh, this ink is a nice ink, but it's just not my flavor. It doesn't sing for me. So I don't get excited over the ink, but it's not a bad ink. So I'm not knocking it. I'm just telling you, it's not my thing. So, uh, but I will add this to my carry, pin carry. Now I'm done with that. Now we're going to go for the pins I've been carrying for the week. Well, this was kind of last week into this week, but here is the uh, Salvatore with the uh, Fountain Pen Revolution Flex Knit. Here are the Monteverde Giant Sequoia. I got these back from Yaffa. They did just fine with medium nibs. And here is the Wing Song 325. Excellent nib on this fountain pen. It really writes very nicely. And then here is the lovely Fiber Castell with a medium nib. And the last of my pens that I'm carrying right now is my Vance Gotti Homo Sapien medium palladium. Dream Touch Nib. And here is my Jin Hao 750 with a Goulet. I think it's a medium, yep, yeah, medium nib. My Twisby Echo with a broad nib. And then here is my Mont Blanc 149 with an 18K medium gold nib. So, there you have it, folks. These are my pin carry for the week. So, I've got to go 
wash all these lovely pins out. And this, these are the ones that I'll continue using for the rest of the week. And of course, when they run out of ink, I'll wash them out. So this little fellow will join me for a while. And I'm glad about that because, like I said, I know it's been, I haven't used it at all this year. It's been sitting in my drawer. So I thought it's about time to put it to, to use. And, you know, uh, I like using all my fountain pens. I just don't like them sitting in my drawer. And shame on me because I let this poor little fella sit in the drawer. So, that's going to wrap up this video on the Pilot Plumex. If you're thinking about your first italic nib, then this is a, an option for you. So, I appreciate everybody for joining me on today's Larry's Fountain Pen. So, thank you for having me in your home today. Peace, love. You guys rock. Solid. Dynamite. So, until my next review, I will talk to you then. Peace, love, and remember, don't text and drive. Later, guys.